हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम यूर जेद सर वेलकमिंग यू इन न्यू फर्स्ट पार्ट फोर्थ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन मैक्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवन टुडे वी गोन स्टार्ट अवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड पावर नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज सो वॉट इज एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड वॉट इज पावर सो बिफोर गोन स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस how we will understand the sums how we will solve the sum so let's start so when i ask you that student 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 so what you will do you will do sir 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 means this okay if i ask you सेकेंड थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री फोर टाइम्स यू विल राइट लाइक दिस करेक्ट एंड इफ आई आस्क यू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री अप टू सेवन टाइम्स सेवन टाइम्स यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री सो यू विल राइट दिस वे यू विल मल्टीप्लाई थ्री सेवन टाइम्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन नाउ दिस इज वेरी लेंदी अप टू सेवन अप टू टेन इट्स ओके नाउ इफ द डिजिट इज इंक्रीज देन वॉट वी विल डू देन आवर साइंटिस्ट है फाउंड द फॉर्म दैट इज कॉल इज ए एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म वॉट इज एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म सी हियर This is my number. What three? I will write here three. Correct. Now, how many three are there? We will count one, two, and this one is three. In total, three threes are there. So I will write three here. Total, how many three? Three threes. Correct. Second example. That is, how which number is there? One, two, three. Here is a three number. Number three. Now, how many threes are there? One, two, three, four. There are four threes are there. I will write like this. Coming forward. Second, all are threes. So I will write here three. How many threes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I will write here three, seven. So have you understand? What is exponential form? Correct. If my number is greater than large, okay, and we are not able to simplify or so to in book, so it is necessary to go through a exponential form. So this is how the exponential form are there. Now, here is a three to seven. So I can understand that three raised to seven means three is multiplied by three. How many times? Seven times. Three is multiplied by three only. But how many times? Seven times. So I will write here like this. If I have three raised to seven, so I will write three multiplied by three multiplied by up to seven times. Correct. Now from this, I can give you some terms. Which are the terms that here is a term which is here. A downside. Okay, this term is called as a base. Clear? This is my base. Now, if here the upper term is known as a exponent. This is my exponent. Correct. So, from this, I can say that a raised to m. What? A raised to m. I can write this is my a and this is my m. Understand? Moving further, if I have this is my three raised to three, this is my three raised to four, and this is my three raised to seven, and if I have Three raised to one. That means three is only one time. I will write like this. 
if the second point is very important after this you have understand this now moving forward okay we had come to know that 3 raised to 1 you can write 3 if I have 3 raised to 0 then it become 1 what if 3 raised to 0 I have then it equal to 1 this much you have to understand it will ask in your exam also so 3 raised to 0 equal to 1 and if I have 2 raised to 0 then equal to 1 1 raised to 0 then it is also equal to 1 so from this if the power or you can say exponent is 0 to any number so I can write like this any known 0 number known 0 number if I have base and which is known 0 which is known 0 means 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to infinite any number which I have which is known 0 raised to power 0 that means its answer is 1 clear now forwarding so moving on to exercise number 13.1 so see in your book what is the question so the question is first from your exercise is find the value of following numbers so this is my exercise 13.1 and this is my question number 1 the first question is 2 raised to 6 2 raised to 6 I already explained you in initial way that if 3 raised to 7 is there that means 3 is multiplied by 3 only but 7 times correct so here is my 2 base is my 2 and 6 is my power so what I will do I will do 2 multiply by 2 how many times 6 times One, two, three, four, five, six. Now getting the answer. Two to the four. Four to the eight. Eight to the sixteen. Sixteen to the thirty-two. Thirty-two to the sixty-four. This is my answer. Four. Two raised to six. Understand? Now. Second question. Two rest, uh, sorry, nine raised to three. Nine raised to three. It means nine is multiplied by nine with three times. Nine into nine into nine. That means we have to multiply nine to nine three times. So what you will get the answer? We will get 9 nines are 81. 81 nines are we will do here in rough side. You have to prepare a rough side, okay? RS in your notebook. So if you want to multiply or divide any number, you can easily do on your side, and it will also uh, when you are revising your sums at that time it tell you that you had do like this. You have done like this, okay? So 81 like this. So it becomes 729. Correct? 9 ones are 9, 9 eights are 72. So my answer is 729. Correct? When you get the answer, make a box. So it will directly highlight your answer. Nothing else. Coming on to the second question. Sorry, third question. What is the third question? Third question is 11 raised to 
power 2 so 11 raised to 2 that means you have to multiply 11 how many times 2 times it become 121 let's verify it okay 11 multiply by 11 1 1 za 1 1 1 za 1 plus 0 1 1 za 1 1 1 za 1 nothing on above so it means 0 1 plus 1 uh, sorry 1 plus 0 that means 1 1 plus 1 that means 2 0 plus 1 that means 1 it means our answer is correct clear this is the advantage of rough side you don't have to always uh, turn your page on your back side and do the calculation do make this boundary on your page side right side right here okay so write this one in your book now the fourth question is 5 raised to 4 5 raised to power 4 that means we have to multiply 5 4 times okay 5 into 5 into 5 that is 5 5 is a 25 25 5 is a 125 multiply by 5 okay the 125 5 is a we have to multiply will go on the right side of our on my right I will go on my right side of board you have to go on your right side of your two is my rough side 125 5 is a 5 5 is a 25 5 to the 10 plus 2 12 5 1 is 5 plus 1 6 that means my answer is 625 clear this is question number 1 okay for exercise 13.1 now moving on question number 2 write down okay Now question 2 is very easy, very easy question 2 is, see, okay, first question, first of all we will write all the question of question number 2, correct, 6 multiply 6 multiply by 6, 6 multiply 6 multiply 6 multiply by 6, done second t multiply by t t multiply by t third b multiply by b multiply by b how many times four times b multiply b multiply b multiply b one two three four four times done equal to now fourth one that is 5 multiply 5, 5 multiply 5, then 7 multiply 3 times. Correct? Now let's give the answer. So, so answer for this, how many times 6 is multiply? Here is 6 only, all are 6, I will write here 6. How many times 6 are the 1, 2, 3, 4 times? I will write here 4. Done. Complete. Second one. All are t. Every digit are t. I will write t. How many times 1 and 2? 2 times. Then coming on b. These all are b's. So I will write here b. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So b raised to 4. Now coming on this. 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 into 7. So what you have to do? The first we will see how many digits are similar. So here is five. Okay. Then there is a three seven. So we'll multiply. So before multiplying this, we have to do that. There are five digit. I will write five. How many digits of five are there? There are two digits of five. One and two. I will write, write like this two done then make a multiply sign then there is which term there is 7 the digit 7 are there so we will write 7 
how many sevens are multiplied here? One, two, and three. Seven multiplies three times. So this is my answer for this question. Five raised to two multiplied by seven raised to three. If I want to expand this, it will become like this. Clear? Now the fifth and sixth. That question you have to do it by yourself. That I know you will done it. Now coming on to the question number three. First of all, write this. Now coming on question number three. The question number three, first question is I written on the board five one two. Now what is five one two? What we have to do for this number? Let's read the question. Express each of the following numbers using exponential notation. Now here we had studied how what is exponential. Okay, so this is my number, and we have to convert it into a exponential form. Okay, so how we will do it? So we know that there is one base and one exponent. So we have to convert it on like that. So we will take a LCM, or you can say you will divide it. So how I will do? See, this is my number. I will divide by two. What a LCM? So two to the four. Okay, one remain. I will write here. That means five. Two plus one, five. Now there is it become eleven. Here is small one and is bigger one. That means it become eleven. Two five is a ten and two six is a twelve. So we will write two five is a ten. One remain. We will write here. It become one to twelve. So what we will write? We will write two six is a twelve. It is similar like that. You have already studied in previous chapter what is how to take LCM, how to do LCM here. If someone don't know, you already know that how we will divide five one two. So two two is a four one come down. See it is become down two five is a ten. One minus zero that means one. One minus one that means zero. Now two come down. Two six is a twelve zero. Clear. Similar. It is like that only. Here you have to only add here one. It is two to the four. Then you have to add one. Then it become five plus one. You have to write it. जितने नंबर बच रहे हैं उसको आप इसके पीछे लगा दो दैट मीन्स इट इज कम्प्लीटेड नाउ टू फाइव सिक्स डिवाइडिंग बाई टू ओनली बिकॉज इट इज डिविजिबल बाई टू टू वन जार टू तो हियर इज अ फाइव सो वी कैन टेक द नंबर विच इज लेस देन फाइव और इक्वल टू फाइव सो टू टू जार फोर देन टू फाइव जार टेन टू थ्री या सिक्स सो सिक्स इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव सो यू राइट टू टू जार फोर एंड हियर इज वन Now eight to the sixteen. Clear. Moving forward. Two six the twelve. Two four the eight. Two two here is six. So two three the six and two two the four. Now again I will divide by two only. Two one the two and two two the four. So four is greater than three. So I will have two one the two. Okay, two ones are two. Remaining ones, I will add here one. So two ones are two plus one. That means three. Now it become twelve. Two six is twelve. Again dividing by two. Eight two is sixteen. Two four is eight. Two two is four. And then two ones are two. Done. So here I get the one. So how many times I had multiplied two? So I can write here. Like this. Every number is two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times we multiply two. So therefore, two is my base because I divide by two only. And how many times I multiply two? Is nine. Or you can say I had divide this number nine times. That means if I multiply this two nine times, I get one five two. Sorry. Five one two, so I can write like this. This is my answer.
क्लियर राइट डाउन दिस वन और टेक ए स्क्रीन शॉट सो विल मूव फॉरवर्ड वी हेड कंप्लीटेड नंबर वन सम ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ना मूविंग ऑन नंबर फोर्थ सम ओके सम नंबर टू एंड सम नंबर थ्री दैट यू हैव टू डू इट बाय योर सेल्फ करेक्ट सो क्वेश्चन इज थ्री वन टू फाइव ओके नाउ वी हैव टू टेक एल्सियम वी विल इफ यू डिवाइड बाय टू व्हाट हैपन लेट्स सी वी आर ट्राइंग विच नंबर वी विल डिवाइड स्टार्ट वी विल स्टार्ट डिवाइड फ्रॉम विच नंबर टू टू जा टू वन जा टू ओके एंड इज वन टू फाइव जा टेन इट मीन हेर इज वन टू सिक्स जा टूल्व नाउ फाइव रिमेन सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिवाइड बाय टू सो कमिंग ऑन थ्री थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री फोर जा टूल्व अगेन फाइव रिमेन सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिवाइड बाय थ्री ऑल्सो नाउ यू विल डिवाइड बाय फोर बट फोर इज द even number and if you know that if 2 is not a divisible for this number then 4 is also not divisible for this number so we will come on 5 so let's try with the 5 5 1 by 5 to 10 5 here is 31 so we'll take 5 6 is 30 5 6 30 okay here is 31 so we will add here 1 so it become plus 1 31 Now here is a twelve. So we will take the five ones, the five five to a ten, five to a fifteen. So five to the ten. Ten. We want twelve. We will add two here behind five. So it becomes twenty-five. So five five is a twenty-five. Done. Now forward. Five dividing by five. Five ones are five plus one is six. Five to the ten. Plus two here, so twelve. Five five is a twenty-five. Again, dividing by five. Five two is a ten. That means uh, we have to add two. So five two is a ten plus two twelve. Clear. Twenty-five five five is a twenty-five. Twenty-five. That means five five is a twenty-five. Again, dividing by five. Five one is a five. Done. So my answer is. Here we divided by five only, so here the LCM is our five only. So I can write here like this: three one two five is equal to all the digits are five, five five five. So I will write here five. Then how many times I multiply five? One two three four and five. Five raised to five. So this is my answer. For this three one two five, if I three one two for three one two five, if I multiply five with five times, I get three one two five is my answer. So here, students, question number three, number four question I had solved. Clear? Now the further question of this exercise we will solve in the next video. Till then, I am Yuzet sir. Stump my lecture here. Okay, bye bye.